so yesterday we last night um, we added virtual hard drive to our existing virtual machine if you want to know how we did that you have to watch this video so basically we added the virtual machine on our server 2019 you see it's right here and during this video you will and if you watch all my videos you see that this video was in the making you know from a long time it was all planning up to this point um, in terms of uh, active directory users all right so basically what i want to do is i want to make my drive e as a file share and i want active directory to give access to some user and restricts to others so we're going to control the file sharing aspect through the active directory let's do that if i can run my active oh, right there okay so this is the this is all my users uh if you, you can see from my previous video that i created uh, for them but they are all there so we're going to use all of them and i'm going to show you how uh, it's done <coughs> so you see there are some presidents in there and then some users what i want to do is i want to first thing first um why we want to why i want to make a share to be on the server like why why want why you want to add a hard drive on the server and not on windows pc why so let's go here on this is windows 7 if you click right click on here and go to sharing and you click on oh it's gonna ask me for the password all right so if you can click share this folder you see the simultaneous users who can have access to this one is 20 right if i click here it's not going here can i put uh 45 no it will not let me okay can I apply it no as soon as i hit apply it goes back to 20 right so that's windows 7 it is enterprise edition what about windows 10 you see it's enterprise edition is that the limitation of windows or windows flavor what if uh, how many users can you access of shared folder in enterprise let's check out again sharing oh Twenty. Can I put four fifty? Apply goes back to twenty. So this is the reason that you want to make uh, files share server on your server, not on a Windows machine. Because for most of the time we access that folder, we minimize it, and then we forget. We keep working. You see this slight indication if we forget we are still accessing that folder and we are an active user and we are being counted uh, as an active connection to that folder for, which means that only 19 other users can have access to that folder now and if all those 19 other users does the same like i did they minimize it and then forget they go to launch and all that nobody else can access that for example on my floor there are 200 computers and in the whole building like there are 18 or 2000 people work they cannot access this folder it's share for that share <clears throat> that's why we want it on the server so how many people on the server can access let's find out this is server sharing go share the folder you see it's 16777 but is this 16000 let's find out if i uh, go towards the uh, hit the right arrow key on my keyboard oh that's a lot more than that so that's a massive number that uh, simultaneous users can access this folder if i were to share it and that's exactly what we're going to do so that's why we use the server let's go and do some sharing and do the fun stuff of uh, giving access through uh, active directory 
this is our e folder we never want to make any shares on c because c is your operating system and you now don't want to mess with it you want to keep it purely for the operating system and whatever you file sharing you want to be done and have user access to that it should be another separate hard drive or at least a volume in that case uh, so let's create up some folders and if you <coughs> check my active directory here I can highlight it you see I have presidents I have some users and then I have a uh, uh, help us deploy is there inventory no I did inventory and admin so I have some administrators there some users some administrators and some presidents so if you remember see Trump taxes and tax you will know where it's going right <laughs> it's a little joke but let's do it all right you will remember it I'm sure that you will remember this video for a very long time all right so let's say that President Trump we know all that that he doesn't want to share his taxes so let's say this is a folder and it has a uh, his taxes in it taxes all right so this is the f his taxes in here in Trump folder now we have another uh, folder that will say govern man and it has a file top secret file that is only for the president and it will say how to right so this is a top secret file that we only want the presidents or the people in government high officials want to have access to it then there is another folder that is called apps and I'm making slight changes to the names so you will know that uh, what is file what is folder and all that list of let's so so our folder is specially for um, our admins for example we have uh, deployed our network and if one installation of any software goes corrupt uh, we don't want our admins to take thumb drive or work with these DVD DVD CDs we want them to just access this folder over the network install the file and be done with it and then let's go have let's have this folder it has a file that is all everybody all right so now we have four folders and we're gonna give them permissions which is have, which gives some access to them and it's six for the others let's do that before we did that let's head to our <coughs> active directory <coughs> we can go to users so there is a painful way it's doable at this scale when we have a few computers and few users and few folders to deal with that is that we go to each folder give it to access like for Trump we only have um, for taxes Trump taxes we only give Trump access and we go to government and then click f add four users then we go to general public and all all the users then we go to apps and click only the admins so you see it's a repetition of the same step for all the folders there's a better way you create security groups that is this one and you make those people a member of that one so all you have to do is share with one group and that group will have access to those folders and if that user is not if a user is not part of the group that has the access to this folder they will not have access to it uh, individually or through the group 
but if you give a user special access to it he will have access to it even though if he's not part of that group so that's how it this works let's make few uh, security groups for the sake of clarity because it's a, a lot of clutter here already um, I'm gonna make my groups in all users so you will know what's going on so let's make a group that's presidents right in presidents we want to go to properties and we make members in members first find bill is bill there yeah let's then we click for bush we check name bush is there we click ok then add we find trump check name trump is there find obama then we go with searching obama now obama is in there so all the president the four president that we have as user name assigned to are now the member of the group that's name is president make another group this time oh we don't have uh yeah make another group for uh, our trump taxes so this group is name taxes right and we want president trump to be the only person to be a member is for the time being trump the reason is that i will get back to this group later on why uh, i made only one person a member why i did not just give trump access like i said that it's not uh, mm, for example uh, in the future if we want to give access to this folder somebody else like uh, uh, there's immense pressure there's some political political changes like new york state is saying that uh, they will give access and all that so a few more people get to exceed the his uh, returns then what we, we're going to come back and add all them one by one no so that's why right now it's only one person in this group but in future hopefully there will be more <laughs> so don't don't think of yourself don't take it don't be politically offended if you are uh, it's not a wishful thinking all right so let's move on let's this time we're gonna add or create a group which is all it says all now since we are using uh, we are adding all the users to this all group is it a better approach to go to properties members and do this one by one add one no that's not uh, uh, very efficient right and active directory is all about efficiency let's head to our users get all the users that we want these are all my users right these are all the users correct right click on it add to a group see with one click I'm gonna add them to my group all click OK click OK the add to group operation was successfully completed if I head back to my security group all will I see all the members in there I do see how easy it is now for the final part uh, if we want to have uh, for the apps for this folder we want the administrator group right should I create an administrator group here oh they're going to sleep don't sleep I, I don't want you to sleep just now because you're gonna serve another purpose logging in all right should i create another ad security group named um administrator mm, right no that's administrator that's a user mm, right let's find our administrator group right here somewhere it should be domain admins right if I click administrator click on properties go to member of 
he is a group member of a group that is administrators or domain admins so you see domain admins right there so I don't may need to make a group name administrators I can simply assign domain admins to this group and whoever is a member of will get access to that and I'm sure this help desk and administrator is a group of it uh, is, a, is a member of it let's see members administrator and brown edge how does oh no then we can add help desk as well let's see what how does is a member of what group administrators domain users enterprise oh, okay he's not member of uh, domain users domain admins right there so now <coughs> if I give administrator um, access to apps only the admins will have access to them right let's uh, so the our part in active directory has been done let's go to our folders let one by one if we go to go to sharing we click on advanced share this folder permissions we click on add we want to give admin let's see what name come up administrator that's a uh, user or administrators that's a security group where is this group located I did not see it over there so let's see administrators it's president built in it should be here administrators right there properties members deploy help desk Imran H okay all right in that case good we can check name we give access to administrators that's already a group click OK we don't want everyone to have access right remove it okay what permission they have read okay so let's go okay we can give them permission through here as well if they are here we can add it, it so let's do this here so this apps only the admins have access to it general public let's go to sharing advanced share this folder permissions uh, search for all right that was the group all we we'll click OK so let's remove every, everyone so now uh, we could leave it there um, uh, but uh, for the sake of clarity let's do it this way uh, so everybody who is a member of all group has access to this general folder close now government we want only the presidents to have access to this one same thing it's a repetition but yeah well, you have to done do it once and then you're done then it's all uh, playing in the active directory let's search presidents click OK remove everyone OK close and Trump Texas right now permission add what was the group name Texas right check name Texas all right apply oh remove everyone apply okay <coughs> right we are done correct all we gave uh, certain permission to certain groups now if I go here will be I will I be able to access that folder I should right right let's find out let's go to click on this network 
and I see the all the folders that been shared on through our server here if you can see apps is there apps apps general public general public government government Trump taxes show up here Trump taxes you can ignore these folders they if you see all of my videos you will recognize them from them but these are the four new folder that we shared now <coughs> I should have access this one is Trump okay so on this machine Trump should have access to general and Texas right no oh no oh no what's going on mm, well maybe we hate President Trump and that's why it's not working maybe right don't get offended <laughs> all right so let's see who is here we have bill clinton uh one of the great president um so let's see if uh, bill clinton can access his full government folder oh he good okay let's go to here I was I was hoping that he does not but uh, oh don't say that uh, we hate uh, President Trump and that's why it's not working server 19 and who is this all right so does Obama have access to government he does too Wow okay something going on so only President Trump is having issues. So finally, we have Bush, right? Let's see, Bush. Um, one nine. Can he access government? Ah, uh, no. What's going on? Am I a Democrat? And I am doing it to. Republican president <laughs> now the reason is that uh, Active Directory with the user when they log into the computer that's when a token is generated which gives them access um, to those uh, what they can access over the network and if you remember that uh, during the video that I went and log into these computers so that they were updated and not the other ones so if I log out for President Bush let's log out sign out and let's sign out uh, President Trump let's log off. let's log in for Bush so President Bush logging in and now remember if you press control or delete on a virtual machine it will not work and your host machine will go into that uh, lockout screen so you have to press for a virtual machine you have to press control alt and end key to get to the screen now give president trump password all right so this is uh, president bush if you can see we logged out and we're logging back in now hopefully we should be able to access the government folder so let's see Server one nine. He can access, right? Hopefully, Mr. Pres uh, Bush, uh, Mr. Trump can do so, and we can move on. All right. So let's go to here. Network server nineteen and government. See, now he can. So that was it. Uh, I had read about it but I then I had forgotten and this is how I, I learned it for good I was doing it and you know I was not logging accidentally I logged out and when I was logged back in it was working so now you if you have seen this video you will uh, remember all these steps for life <laughs> I'm pretty sure about that all right so since uh, we logged back and logged back in 
uh, logged out and logged back in let's see if uh, president has trump has access to his office obviously does mr bush has access to mr trump's ex no there's an option that uh, actually um, if you don't have access to the minimum access that is read to a folder it will not show up for you here uh, for that user uh, it's a pretty neat and security feature I did not turn it on uh, because that for that you have to go through um, server manager you have to go through the shares and you have to create a new share and you have to go through these steps to turn that on I did not uh, yes so <clears throat> let's go back so but even though he logged out and logged back in president bush does not have access to trump's taxes but does he have access to general folder general public because he is a you part of that for uh, group he does he can go and read it all right so <clears throat> check all the other four presidents do they have general yes can they go to apps no can they go to trump taxes no mr trump is very uh, strict on that all right so now we have all the presidents logged in we have to log out and then log back with the administrators and then administrator will have access to this app folders we can try on uh, uh, let's do it on, on a few machines let's uh, sign out sign out on the second machine as well and sign out on the third machine <clears throat> so let's give it the slash um, administrator will always have right so let's get Imran I believe Imran was the part of the help desk or give this one help desk ah uh, help desk I think I forgot the password yep probably please work okay help desk is working no no Okay, so this is going to take a little bit time on this machine. Let's log into log out and log in. What was the third user? Aslan was part of the. Uh, what is it? Manage tools. Active directory users so users is built-in administrators have properties members we can go with deploy and run let's go with deploy if that gonna take let, let let's stick with Imran and help us all right so does Imran have access to this is with the help desk server one nine <clears throat> so if you can see this is the help desk guy right can he access apps yes he can can he access general public yes he can can he access government is he part of government no he is not and certainly not mr trump's taxes no that's never happening now this is imran same thing he can access apps 
he can access general public but he cannot access government and he cannot access mr tron's taxes so <clears throat> now you see that's how the permissions are used in through active directory uh, to grant or restrict access let's find out who is mr Brun president's um, accountant trump account trump accountant ellen ellen Wesselberg. all right so we'll go with ellen all right let's go with Ellen. so let's say now um let's add him there's a user i can use can i re yes so because i'm going to delete all this i'm creating it to all users here this is his ellen i don't remember his full name if i am typing it wrong please forgive me i'm gonna put ellen he is just a normal user i'm gonna give him a password as well i have to write I wish we could get away with that that would be a lot faster because I just want to see uh, I wanted to show you all right so Alan he should have access to his taxes um, Trump's taxes because he's his accountant we can let's get this time from properties I can show you member of we can search the group name from here what's the group name uh, taxes taxes yep we click OK, apply, close, taxes, and taxes. Now you will see it has two members. One is the Trump and then his uh, accountant. So now his accountant will have access to that folder if we log out of here. <coughs> and that's how groups and security works um, and how easy it is that uh, you just have to assign different users to different groups and you can remove them and they lose their access as well you don't have to go to each folder and do the tidies, uh, tedious work uh, I think it's Ellen Hello. all right oh yeah almost there we see all the folders shared folder Alan he is a high-ranking personal still he does not have access to government he can access no oh he has to log back in oh we did not add him to the general public that's why he does not have access to this one can he go to straight to trump taxes wow he is in he can see the taxes because he is the accountant <laughs> so that's how uh, file sharing and access works through um, and the permissions through active directory if this video helped you in any way, uh, please rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you in another video.